The world is divided by major type of land formed by plant life and climate. They are called biome. The Shapiro biome is the smallest of them all. The Shapiro biome is found in a little bit of most of the continents. In the west coast of the United States, the west coast of South America, the Cape Town area of South Africa, the western tip of Australia, and the coastal area of the Mediterranean. Chaparral is known for being very hot and dry. Chaparral only gets about 10 to 17 inches of rain all year, and most of it comes in the winter. As for the temperature, the winter is about 10 degrees Celsius. Then there is the summer. It is very hot and dry at 40 degrees Celsius. Most plants in the shepherd biome are well adapted to the weather conditions. Most of them have small, hard leaves which hold moisture. Some examples are the poison oak, the scrope oak, the juca, the cacti, and finally the blue oak. The soils associated with the shepherd biome are generally poor and often rocky. The nutrients generated in the winter sometimes are destroyed by fires in the summer. Shepherd animals are all mainly grassland and desert types, adapted to hot and dry weather. Some examples are the coyote, gray fox, deer, wire goat, the spotted skunk, and the jackrabbit as well. Shepherd food web. The food web has four main parts. It all starts with the primary producers, which are basically plants. Then the primary consumers follow. Primary consumers are, for example, rabbits and deers that eat the plants. Next are the secondary consumers. The secondary consumers eat the primary consumers. One example of them are the fox. Finally, we have the tentary consumers at the top of the food web. In this case, we have the mongoose and the mountain lion. They eat both the primary and the secondary consumers. Communalism is where one part benefits and one part stays the same. Cactus need protection from the sun and for other animals. Biomedic trees and mesquite trees often offer a young cactus a safe place. These trees are called nurse plants because they protect the growing cactus. The cactus benefit and the palo verde and mesquite tree is still the same. Parasitism is when one part benefits and one part gets harmed. In this case where the mountain lion eats the rabbit to survive. The mountain lion takes all the nutrients from the rabbit. The mountain lion is benefit and the rabbit is harmed. Mutualism and when both parts benefit. One example of mutualism is the web in this fruit. The insect lay her eggs inside this fruit. The fruit is benefit as well because it reproduces. 